remember Wednesday night, <laughs> my friend Taylor texted me if I could pick her up. Friday, we had a Disney trip with a dance team. We had to drop off our luggage Thursday morning. Thursday morning, I decided to leave more early than usual. I left at like 7 a.m. ish, so I wouldn't be late to school. And I was in the car with my neighbor, Vince, like every other morning that I've gone to school. So we finally get to her house. I told my friends, I told Vince and Taylor to put their seatbelts on. Or a lot of my friends are like, oh, I, oh, why should I put a seatbelt on? Whatever. I don't care how much you trust me as a driver or anyone else. Anyone can be drunk on the road and hit you and, and that's it for you. I took this road my school bus would take every day. I stopped at my stop sign and I checked every single possible way cars could be coming down and then I engaged into driving. Then all of a sudden, this car coming, I would say at the very, very least, 60 miles per hour. Seven twenty-ish in the morning, seeing these headlights appear right in your lane. My mind was working in seconds because I had split seconds to think and decide what I had to do. I swerved into his lane, and so right as I swerved, he turned back into his lane, and I had no time to get back into my lane. It was, it was a head-on collision. At those moments, those seconds, looking straight ahead and like kind of freezing there, like. Everything that I ever did, everything that I am, everything that we are in this car is going to be gone. Did not imagine that we could possibly survive. That, that I thought that was me dying because it was a white airbag. So you could actually see the lipstick. I had my hair pinned back into this bun and my hair got all in my face and I just looked down and I had it like shatters some bits of the windshield some bits of my dashboard on my lap and I remember brushing it away and realizing oh what I'm I'm alive no no this is a movie this cannot be happening I screamed oh my god what happened those moments I think were the most scariest of them all because even though those seconds of me turning my head around to make sure my friends were all right were i think even more scarier than the impact itself at this point i was like they're covered in blood and more than likely dead vince i saw him alive and not covered in blood Oh my god, this kid is alive. It was such a relief, so then I turn around, Taylor in the back was alive. None of us knew what just had happened. So fast we got out of the car, but it felt so slow. Taylor had gotten on the ground and she was crying. I didn't know what to do, she said. I can't move this, this really hurt. But I looked her in the eye and said, and Crazy, like, I didn't know what to do with myself, but I had my cool with it. Vince was okay, and um, he seemed totally calm. Yeah, accidents happen. It's not your fault. Don't worry about it. And he kept telling me this. This was an unavoidable car accident, and I did my best. It wasn't my fault. Then I go to the other driver. This man steps out of the car. I think he was like 78 years old. He looked around like it was another day. I said, sir, are you okay? That second after I said that, he called me a liar. I, I couldn't understand why he had called me a liar. And he called me a lying bitch, lying shit. He kept repeating these words over and over. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And I stepped back. The cops had already come less than a minute after the accident. A cop comes over to me and he's like, where were you coming from? Taylor's house. I could still hear everything, chaos. Um, police sirens going on, um, going off. Everything yelling through my fingers. I just felt like passing out on the floor. I just couldn't, it didn't feel real at all. He didn't even want to look at me. He 
he didn't even want to take me into consideration. He didn't want even to think of me as a person. So you could imagine a cop yelling in the hospital hallway, your children are liars. They're liars. They make up for each other to cover up. They're liars.